from its living Paul Kremble. From the all-new dating game, Elaine Joyce. From superstar impressions, Rich Little. From the world of wrestling, Captain Lou Albano. From international music, Charles. From country music fame, Hoyt Axton. From the Los Angeles Rams, Eric Dickerson. Thank you, Shadow Stevens, and welcome to the new Hollywood Squares. What a fabulous audience. Give yourselves a hand. What a great audience. It's Monday on the Hollywood Squares. Hello, Squares. Hello. We have Louie Anderson back once again, and our set is once again more solid than it ever is without you, Louie. It's nice it's to have you It's just as solid as your hair, John. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> We have two contestants today because on Friday's show we gave away a card. Anybody watch the show? Oh, she was a lovely lady. Yeah. And she won all the balloons and won the best car. On my right, on my left, ladies first, Jan Barber is here. Jan, welcome to the show. Very nice to meet you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a native of Southern California. Good. And I've been employed with a major airline for seven years. Oh, good. I love it. It's great. Great. Welcome to the show. Thank and good luck. Much. Hope you make Did lots you of money. Do you have any penis on you? <laughs> any what? Any what? Any penis? Any penis? <laughs> No, I'm like afraid not. Oh, <laughs> Len, over here, Len Edwards is here. Yay, he's on my right. Tell us about yourself, Len. John, I was born and raised in Los Angeles. I retired from the Los Angeles City Fire Department. Good. At the present time, I'm teaching physical education and coaching football. Well, in case Charles gets excited and gets too hot in here, you could put out the fire. You're, 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 <laughs> just sort of play on words, Len, I'm sorry. Let's get to the game. The way we play it is so simple, it's tic-tac-toe. You get three squares in a row, across, right. down, or diagonally, or acquire as many squares as you can. Win of each game, receive $500 in cash. Whoever has the most money at the end of the show will have a chance to drive away one of these beautiful Isuzus. The coin backstage and Len, the retired fireman, you won. Pick a square, let's get started. Oh, who else? The great Eric Dickerson. Yeah. All right. All right. Eric, your fans are here. You gotta look good now. Here's okay. the question. According to folk medicine, the number one cause of puffiness, particularly in the face, is what? Oh. Have you ever tried running against the Chicago Bears? <laughs> <laughs> I think your face was funny. You do um, that very well. I'd say not enough sleep. Not enough sleep. Len, what do you think? I disagree. X gets square. Too much salt in the diet, but that's a great answer, Eric. Too much salt, they say, yeah. Retains water. Jan, over to you. Which way do you want to go? Hi, I'd like to select Louis Anderson, please. Yeah, big Louis. You know, Hi, you know what else is the chief cause of puffiness? Why I sit on you. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny. No. That's the idea, John. Miss <laughs> Roach's fifth grade social studies class in Springfield, Missouri, recently graded President Reagan and sent him the report card. He only got one A for what? Arm sales. <laughs> Ooh, oh. They sent him over. Isn't that nice that they actually did this and sent it in? You know? Oh, I can't think of anything nicer. Yeah, were you in the fifth grade ever? Uh, I think I weighed 180 in the fifth grade. No, I didn't say what you weighed. Oh, I, I thought said... you were asking. Yeah, yeah I was in the years. fifth grade. They, and they John, you'll in... be in the fifth grade next year, won't you? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, this class sent in the report card. He only got one A. What was it? In, um, I guess, I would say public speaking. Jan, what do you think? I'll have to disagree. Leadership qualities. Circle gets a square. They said he was a good leader. Overall, he got a B minus. <laughs> and he has the same hair as you. Over to you. <laughs> over to you. It's going to be a long week. Len, over to you. Pick a square. Uh, Rich Little. Yeah. Hi, Rich. Hi, John. Oh, Rich, can drinking whiskey really help cure a snake bite? Good heavens, no. A snake will bite you, even if he's sober. <laughs> uh, if he bites W.C. Phil, the poor creature will die of cirrhosis of the liver. <laughs> um, think about it. I'll get back to you. Will whiskey really help you? Uh, I, don't think, I don't think it will, no. He says no, Len. What do you think? I agree. It is no. X gets a square. In fact, it can make things worse. 
Does the alcohol can speed through uh, the flow of blood? Whatever. The answer is no. Jan, pick a square. Hi, I'd like to pick the lovely Elaine Joyce, please. Oh, that Elaine Joyce. Thank you. You have such wonderful Hi, taste. Elaine. Thank you. Hi, Congratulations Josh. on the dating game. You're a fabulous hostess. Thank you very much. And my son, John Jr., was on the show, and you were so nice to him. He was divine. He held his own. Yes. When he came around, the girls would say, oh, I wish I had chosen him. He's you a know. cute guy. He is. Elaine, according to New Woman magazine, you read that? Uh-huh. Do most married women have an affair, who have an affair, do they tell their friends? No, it's not necessary. Everyone else will. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of gets around. Do, do, they... most, do most married women have an affair, do they tell their friends about it? Do well, they... not that I'm an authority, all right? All right. Got you <laughs> off the hook. That's right. I would say, yes, they do. She says and yes, And they would be Jen. proud of it, probably. This will be for the block. Very important. She says yes. I will agree with it that. It is yes. Go Circle gets a square. Very nice. Glenn, over to you. Take a square. Charo. Charo. Hola, como estas? Charo, through the handshake, though the handshake is an acceptable greeting in Japan, most Japanese actually prefer what? You asked me the right question, because I happen to be in Japan all the time. Really? And I happen to speak a little bit Japanese. Really? By the way, I happen to speak five different languages. But it doesn't make any difference, because nobody knows what the heck I'm talking about in every language. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear Japanese? Yes. Come on, wa, minasama, watashiwari, hango, hanese matsu, koroto re, mani, matsu. Is that where we have some Japanese people? Is that right? Ah! Good. <laughs> they couldn't understand you, but Arigato. they knew it was Japanese. Arigato, arigato, si matsu. Charles, but uh, is I the understood hand... the question. They will prefer the haso, haso masu, haso masu, haso masu, the shake, the bow. The bow. The Len, what do you think? She says the bow. I agree. That's it. X gets ah! a square. Yeah. <laughs> A, a 15 degree, a 15 degree bow. Isn't that interesting? That, but not too low. 15 degree. Over to you, Jan. Pick a square. Paul Kreppel for the win, please. Paul from It's a Living. Are you into sushi at all? Just, anyway, Paul, go ahead. Paul. Yes. In sports, it used to be called the broad jump. What do they call it now? A uh, singles bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's the generic term. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. It, it, I'm, I'm so far away, you couldn't hit me if you wanted to. Go ahead. It enough. used to be called the broad jump. What do they call it now, big guy? It's this, now called the long jump. This is for the win. Len, what do you think? I'm sorry, Jan, what right. do you think? Oh. I'll have to disagree with that. No, he's right. Oh. It is the long jump. I tried to tell you. Yeah, we you can't uh, put an X there because you've got to earn that yourself. Len, over to you. Which way do you want to go? I did that. Paul. Before. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Mr. Kreppel. Yeah, go ahead. According to Health Magazine, pregnant women are sometimes driven to midnight binges, pickles and ice cream, peanut butter and anchovies because of their need for... Bad breath. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, you're on a roll. This is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Their need for... Why do they do these binges? Is it a need for what? I say protein. Protein. Len, this is for the win. What do you think? Disagree. Salt. $500. X gets a square. They need salt. <laughs> Len, you're on the board. Oh, Jim, you're turn to catch up out of the secret square game oh, is next. Man. Stay with us. We'll be right back. What a show. <laughs> We wanted you to meet someone who's backstage. We always bring our families to Hollywood Squares, and our talent coordinator's son is Justin. Can you say hi to everybody in Hollywood Squares? Say hello. Okay, that's all for the kid. This is our secret square game. So the player who chooses that square could win this. Shadow, tell us about it. A trip to Aruba for the vacation of a lifetime. We'll fly you and a guest round trip to the beautiful beaches of the Caribbean on Eastern Airlines. Eastern, the leader in service to all the Americas. And, hey, you'll enjoy the ever-popular DVDV Beach Hotel in Aruba, one of the most intimate and charming hideaways in the Caribbean, furnished by the DVDV Hotel Corporation. Let's reveal our secret square to our home audience only. And back to the game. Now, Jan, you don't have any money yet. And the airline, they're going to go back and say, Jan, how'd you do on the show? Makes pick a square. I'll take Louis Anderson, please. Yeah, a lot of people would like to do that. Hi, Louis. Hi, John. How are you? What can gain as much as 200 pounds in one day? Is this a dare? 
<laughs> Why do you get these questions? I don't know. I don't either. Something can gain as much as 200 uh, pounds in one single day. I know this one. A whale. Jan, what do you think? I'll agree. Circle gets a square. A whale. Hey. He's, he's not only cute, he's smart. I always Len. know my competition. Oh, uh, over to you. Len, pick a square. Captain Lou Albano. Yeah. Oh, Captain Lou. John? Lou, you're such a good actor. In that, that, what's it, not shot put. What's the new film's coming out? New uh, film coming out is called Body Slam. Body Slam. Sounds like shot put. Yeah, right. February. It's a uh, rock and wrestling movie. It's comedy. Very funny. Yeah. Uh, Shell Litton produced it and Hal Needham directed it. That's uh, enough, Tanya Lou. Roberts we we that enough. It's good. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I better be careful. He's a big guy. Okay, Lou, John. we found out that you're quite a fisherman. Oh. And so we caught a fish and found a knife. Can you show us your expert way of cleaning a fish? Well, first of all, John, we've got a nice trout right here. It's about a two-pound trout, and it's been semi-prepared, and we're going to take the fish. We're going to we'll cut the tail off right here. We'll get rid of that, first of all. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of taking off of a fin, uh, which is right here. We got a, Actually, it's not really a sharp knife, but you get the point, John. We're taking off this right here, right. and we'll uh, cut all this right off here. There's another little fin that we're going to... So what about the skin? Don't you uh, just a minute, John. Don't get oh, excited fine. about the skin. I know what I'm doing here. I'm a eclectic fisherman. Now we're going to scale this. We actually need a scaling knife, but at the time we don't have it, so we'll use this. And you just scrape against. You take all the scales. Have you seen that job what I'm doing there? Just take it right down as we're doing. Here we go. Ew. Now we're going to... How's that? Look pretty good, right? Okay. Ew. Now we're going to take this fish. I normally prefer an oven. I like yeah. to put my fish in a 325-degree oven for about 30 minutes, but we're going to use it right here. We've got this frying pan, and we've got a little butter that I've already put in there. We're going to take a little more butter. Now, if you're on, of course, a, uh, now, now, uh, if you've got cholesterol when you diet, well, then you can use margarine. Uh, and if you're on a sodium-free uh, diet, then you can turn okay, around well, and use... Well, the, here's your question. Uh, you're you're All right. Now, here we go. We'll put a little here's your question. On here. Just well, a minute. We're not ready yet. Don't applaud yet. Okay. We're not ready. We'll have a lump of butter here. Now right. we're going to take a little bit of lemon. We squeeze a little lemon on it. It gives it a click. Okay, thing. while you're doing you know that, I'm going to ask you a question, okay? What are you going to ask me, John? Uh, you're a man who catches your own fish, but when buying fish, is it true that you can tell if it's fresh by staring into its eyes? <laughs> it's really fresh if it winks back at you. <laughs> <laughs> pepper on here, John. You watching me? Just yes. pay attention there. Just a minute, John. How's that? Little pepper. Do you have the season. finished thing there too? We can look at it and show well, what it looks well, like. Well, right here, a little salt. All right. And we're going to bake it. We turn up the fire and we're ready to go. But if you look in its eyes, can you tell if it's fresh or not? Actually, if it has a purple color to the eyes, so you, you would realize say that it is a fresh fish. You would say yes or no? Looking in the eyes, you can tell. I believe you can, yes. Lenny says yes. I disagree. It is, yes. He knows what he's talking about. Oh, Circle gets yeah. Thank, you, Thank you, Lou. How about a nice John. hand for Lou in his cooking demo? Over to you, Jan. Pick a square. Hi. Rich Little for the win, please. Yeah, Rich. Yeah, by the way, that, that is true about the eyes. I don't know why, but you can tell if a fish is healthy by looking at the eyes. Rich, true or false? In real life, John Wayne never, ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces. Well, John... If John Wayne had been on the surface, it would have been over in three days. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, Pilgrim, <laughs> he never was in the surface. He says, no, he was never in Only the surface. Only in the movies. This will be for the win. Jan, what do you think? I will agree. It is $500. Circle gets a square. That's hard to believe. We have a tie game. That's how we like it. Right after this, we'll come back and solve that tie. Someone's going to get a chance at an Azuzu. Right after this, stay with us. A tie. Dry, skimpy diamonds. We'll soon be heading for Hollywood, Florida. So if you live in the greater Fort Lauderdale area and would like tickets, please send a stamp self-address down below. Plus your home phone number to Hollywood Squares, Hollywood, Florida, 33022. Welcome back. In case we only get to complete our last game, at the sound of the horn, we'll finish that question. Each X and O on the board will be worth $100. We have a tie. That's how we like it here. Len, let's change that right now. Renee Taylor. Renee, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you. You're such a fun lady and a fine actress, and you have a new book out called My Life on a Diet. Right. And there's a picture of you, I guess, on the... Is this really your... This isn't your head stuck on another no, body, is this it? this is really me. This is really me. You look great, yeah. Thank you, I'm a size four. And it's a diet of going from an 18 to a four in three weeks. Great. Ooh, that's uh, very fast, Ooh. isn't it? Yeah. You must do it on loose fish. Uh, how did mono, they answer mono. this question? At the Good Housekeeping Beauty Center, 
how can I camouflage my double chin? The question was, how can I camouflage my double chin? Uh, you put soil in your brassiere <laughs> and you plant hedges. <laughs> That's just the sickest answer that we've had on this show ever. No, that's very funny. Or, or, or. <laughs> you firm up with exercises like this one. She says exercise, <laughs> exercise, distorting your face. Exercise, she says. What do you think? I agree. No, that's a wonderful answer, but apply darker cosmetics. If you put real dark there, it'll make it go in. Light makes it pop out. Uh, I don't know, circle gets a square. Over to you, Jan. Pick a square. Hi, let's pick Captain Lou Albano. Yeah, back to Lou. How's the fish coming, Lou? Coming along. It's got a little, you see that little steam rising up? Coming in fine, John. Yeah, Ew. I can smell it from here. Yeah. According to etiquette expert Elizabeth Post, what's the earliest one should leave a dinner party? What's a dinner party? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a social event where people are invited over for dinner. Well, up to me, I leave after the main course or basically wait for the dessert and then you leave after dessert. Leave right after right dessert. Right after dessert, get out. Dan, out. what do you think? He says leave after dessert. I'll disagree. Circle gets a square. You should not leave until one hour after dinner is over. <laughs> you learn something every day. Circle gets a square. Over to you, Len. Which way do you want to go? Paul Kreppel for the block. Paul. Hi, Hi, John, yes. What's the name of the famous Grant Wood painting that features a farmer, his wife, and a pitchfork? It's uh, American Gothic. American Gothic. This is for the block, Len. What do you think? Disagree. It is American Come Gothic. Come on, Len. I'm trying to Can't help you Can't put here. a circle there. you got to earn that yourself. Jan, which way do you want to go? Paul Kreppel for the win. Yeah, Paul Schubert. Remember him? Yeah. He composed the Unfinished Symphony. Mm -hmm. Why didn't he finish it? Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> he gave up composing, I think, at he that point. He gave up composing, Jan. This is for the win and for the... No, maybe not, but Who this is for the win. He says he stopped composing. That's why. Who was it again? Uh, Sch Schubert. I'll agree. No. <laughs> He died. <laughs> he died. He just went like this one day. Well, that means that he X gets no, the that square. That Over you, Len. Well, he finished him, but it's because he died. We, right? He's because he died. Yeah. X gets the square. Len, which way do you want to go? I got to go for Louis. Louis, the Smithsonian Magazine mourns their decline and refers to them as, quote, the roadside shrine, a place where, quote, the garbage man sits next, sits next to the college president. What are they talking about? A Texaco men's room. <laughs> uh, churches. Churches. Len, what do you think? I have to agree. No. Churches, a roadside diner. Churches, a wonderful answer, though. Circle gets a square. Over to you, Jan. Which way do you want to go? Eric Dickerson for the win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go that way. Eric. Okay. I don't know how we ever got you to sit down. Every time I see you on TV, you're... <laughs> Like it's doing, hard, it's hard. Doing great moves and moving around. True or false, Eric, according to the American Society of Human Genetics, by the way, that was our horn, we'll add up the score. According to the American Society of Human Genetics, athletic ability is mostly inherited. I'd say true. I will agree with that. That's it. I know Circle that's gets right. a square, $500. You've won the game. Jan, $1,000. Congratulations. You're our new champion. Well, Len, you have won a total of 600 smackaroonies here, and we've had a lot of fun playing with you. Our retired fireman, thanks for coming to the show. Say bye, Len. Thanks bye, for being here. Bye, Len. Bye-bye. <laughs> Jan, you know how it works, right? Yes. If you watch Dating Game and Hollywood Squares as well, Elaine, well, if you watch Hollywood Squares, you know that we have five keys in this bowl. Each one is for one of those beautiful Isuzus. Pick a key, and then I'll tell you uh, what to do with it. They all, look, they all look so good. Yeah, but the keys are good. Wait to see the cars. Now, which car would you like to try that key in? Will it start the Impulse? Will it start the LS Space Cab? Will it start the pickup truck? What about the I-Mark sedan? What about the Trooper 2? Which car, Jan, would you like to try? They all look great. Um, I'll pick the sedan. The sedan, Please. Jan, and the good luck celebrity of her choice right after this. We'll be right back. Good show. How can you tell if a financial planner is... We are back. 
Hoyt Axon. He's Choison. Choison? Hoyt Axon has a good luck celebrity. Tell us about this Isuzu Shadow Stevens. Well, the ultra-luxurious iMark sedan from Isuzu. Car and Driver magazine called the front-wheel drive iMark one of the best of the best. It's so well-equipped, it's much more than an economy car furnished by American Isuzu Motors. The iMark sedan is worth $9,740. Good luck on the count of three. Audience and stars, let's help her out. One... Two, three. Oh. Next time, next time. Well, Cooper. you didn't win the car today, but you are our reigning champion, and we you're a lovely remaining reigning champion. We'll see you tomorrow on the show. Will we be back, Hoyt, tomorrow? Yes, yes. you'll be back yes. tomorrow. Yes. Hoyt, accident, all our stars, Tuesday. Oh. See you tomorrow in the new Hollywood Squares. Bye, everybody. Some of our departing contestants will receive the following Blue Bonnet. Everything's better with Blue Bonnet on it. And Duration Nasal Spray. No other spray starts to work faster in duration relief. Continues for up to 12 hours. Duration use only is directed. And Glade Light, the air freshener with just half the perfume of most sprays. So all you smell is freshness available in gentle fresh and hint of powder. On the next Hour magazine, Woman of the Hour, Designing Women's Dixie Carter. Also, Female Entrepreneurs, Diets from Hollywood, Dr. William Radar with a report on single women over 30, and beauty expert Jose Ebert. Hour magazine, tomorrow at 4 on 32 WLKY.